Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to this uh, virtual presentation from ESL Comprehension. We're still in chapter 5 and we are on letter writing. Now we shall be continuing with this lesson and as we go to the second uh, uh, slide, the next slide, you will be dealing with exercise 2. Uh, based, this is a, uh, taken from your book. Okay, let's read on. You may be asked to read some uh, information and write a letter in response. The following are just three examples, okay, of the type of letter you might be asked to write. One is a letter giving information or advice to a friend or relative. Second, a letter to a magazine or a newspaper commenting on the material and giving your reaction. Third is a letter explaining or apologizing for a problem. So, as with any piece of writing, remember to think about, of course, the audience and the, here you go, the audience and the purpose. Okay. Here. And here who are you writing to this will help you to decide how formal the letter your letter needs to be if it is a letter to a friend for instance it can be in a chatty style and you can use normal some informal colloquial language for example instead of I feel I must express my views on which is rather formal, it will be more appropriate to say, I must tell you what I thought about. Okay. And you have to remember also what you are writing for. Is it to inform, to make a request, to complain, or to explain a particular point of view? The answer to this question will have an effect on how you write. For example, if it is a letter to a company, then turn your points, then your points must be clearly ordered and uh, written in a systematic, logical way. One important point, even if your letter is making a complaint about a situation or disagreeing with someone else's opinion, it should never be abusive or rude. Okay. It is likely that the question will provide you with an outline of the content of your letter. But it is important okay, that you adapt this in such a way that it is interesting to the reader. Okay. And focused clearly on the specific requirement of the task. Now, how should you, your letter be set out? Although the layout of a letter may not be as important as the content, you should follow certain guidelines. And let's study the layouts of a personal letter and a formal letter on pages 92 to 93 and use them appropriately. You must set your letter out neatly and there is never an, an excuse for an untidy looking letter. Okay, we have to remember those things. Now, the first letter on page 92 of your book, we have this format. Okay, we have this, uh, your address here. Okay, let me change to a pointer. Your address at the top right-hand corner with the data underneath it. So, this is your address. The inside address, that's what we used to call it. And it should be written on the top right hand corner of your paper okay of your writing paper okay and the details of your address and the date who you're writing to and your name here use an informal ending okay you will write your name and of course you you're writing a friend so you won't be writing down your your family name okay Next is, the next page is a formal letter, 
you will find your uh, here again your inside address put your address at the top right hand corner okay and put the name and address of the person here you are writing to on the top left hand side of the page and these are the details the name there the position and the address of the recipient of your letter okay put the data or the date below this address here you'll find it here and write down after the add uh, the date if you don't know the name of the person you are writing to start with dear sir or madam in this case we know the name it's mr brown so we will say it's written here dear mr brown okay if you you use the person's name at the start of the letter and with yours sincerely there's the name there yours sincerely if you started the letter with dear sir or madam and with yours faithfully if you know the person you're writing to quite well you could end your letter more informally with best wishes for example all right so let's try to go to uh, the next page which is about uh, an example of um, a letter we have the two letters as our example let's first one read these two letters about an incident in a mini market the first is an example of how not to write a letter of apology the second is much more appropriate in content and tone okay no paragraphing you you'll find it here there's no paragraphing and the content is not ordered okay let's see um, after having read this letter you will find that comment okay second this you will find out that the tone of the letter is all wrong it is not apologetic but it is complaining okay the third comment is the content of the letter is distorted as Olga the letter sender tries to shift the blame all right so you'll find it here the first comment here no paragraphing and the content is not ordered second you'll find it here the tone of the letter and third this uh, the distorted content you'll find it here given that this is a formal letter the ending is incorrect it should be yours sincerely okay so this is one thing that we have to oh those are the things comments we have to take note of now the second letter is like this uh, it's uh, addressed to the same person written by the same person the letter starts by getting straight to the point here right okay and then a development paragraph clearly explains exactly what happened so from here down here you'll see the situation ordered in order okay now the third paragraph here neatly rounds off the letter with a return to the opening from here you remind the purpose of your uh your uh, your letter okay so the letter started with the name so the ending is correct here she used yours sincerely okay now so with all this uh, guide to writing letters you can go over these uh, slides and we shall we have to remember that in the IG we are given um, three tasks in letter writing so this is what we shall be doing in our future um, uh, presentations but in ESL writing remember we also have experienced a lot of writing activities in there so that would be all for this morning and I wish everyone a good day be healthy be safe and bye for now